Acts 16, Paul is on his way to prayer. And it says that this girl with a spirit of divination was following him and kept saying, hey, service of the most high God here to proclaim the way of salvation to you. And I know she didn't sound like that. Like, I know she didn't. But when I read the text, that's what it gives. Anyway, Paul starts to feel away because this happens for some days. And I would have felt away too because I would have been like, girl, go do something. Like, go be somewhere. But Paul doesn't speak to the girl. The text says that Paul speaks to the spirit and says, come out of her. And I think sometimes in our interactions with people, especially people that are wicked towards us or evil towards us or even irritants towards us, we can get so caught up on dealing with the flesh and blood that we actually miss out or are ignorant to the spiritual realities at work that are influencing the behavior that we then see, right? And I think what I'm not saying is that you should just start calling out demons <laughs> and everybody that gets on your nerves or that's evil towards you unless the Lord leads. But what I am saying is that I think that when you when you identify the spiritual realities at work, then it shows you that like our fight is not against flesh and blood. So even if a person is a enemy, they are not the enemy. And if they are not the enemy, then the warfare and the wrestle and the fight needs to be happening, happening in spiritual places where we are seated, right? Like that means we need to be praying instead of like throwing hands. So that's it.